situation plays a factor. But to you, what was the most appealing part of going to play for yeah, the Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a tough few days for sure. There's a lot, of, a lot of decisions that have to be made. But I think for me, um, you know, you look at their goaltending, uh, you look at their their core of, of D, and then you see the, the guys they have up front. So uh, this is a, a young, um, exciting team that's right on the verge, I feel, of, of winning. So for me, I want to win. And, um, you know, I've come back, back, back close the last two years in a row. So um, I think, uh, you know, where I'm slotted in Calgary, I think it's a great fit for me. And uh, hopefully I can be that missing piece that gets us back in the playoffs and takes us on a good run. 27th last year in goals scored were the Flames. With your secondary scoring and the balance on those lines, do you think that's going to be able to get you guys back in the winning conversation and possibly push for a playoff spot? Yeah, I think that's uh, you know that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring goal scoring there, and then you know hopefully being able to play on uh, a top line with uh, with Monahan and Goudreau and their ability to make everybody around them better and their ability to pass the puck. Uh, you know, I think good things will, will happen there. So, um, for me, I'm a guy who likes to get open and, and shoot as much as I can. And like I said, with those guys being able to, to feed it to you, you're, you're going to have lots of chances to score. I know you got a pretty good relationship with Mike Smith. How much did you talk to him in the lead-up to signing, and what did he tell you about the Flames team that you ultimately chose? Yeah, well, we just we were just on a, a golf tournament for six days right before I got back to Vegas here before free oh, nice. agency. So, uh, <laughs> he... Uh, he said all the good things, that's for sure. And uh, Smitty's a great guy, but uh, you know, with him being a net and, and how good he is, uh, you're gonna have a chance to win. And uh, you know, you need a goalie that uh, is able to put you, take you on a run. So um, it's all uh, all good things. So I'm really excited. You've been with four teams before this, an expansion team recently, different spots. Now you're in Canada in a market that loves their hockey. What are you looking forward to specifically about this situation? Yeah, there's a lot of things. I think, uh, you know, I, I, you know that Canadians love hockey and you know that going back to Calgary is going to be a lot of fun. So uh, I've never had the chance to play in a Canadian market. And um, growing up in just outside Toronto, you know, you, you, you love where you come from. So um, be able to go back to Canadian City and uh, be a part of this, uh, this fan base. And, um, you know, for me, I, I want to bring winning back to there. So... Um, I want to win a championship, and there'd be no better place to do it than in Calgary. So I guess we should shout out Whitby for a second here, eh? <laughs> yeah, you can always get Whitby your shout out. Sure. <laughs> uh, listen, some, some pretty big Canadian names returning to Canadian markets. Yeah. Not sure if you've heard, but John Tavares <laughs> signed with the Toronto Maple Leafs. It was in the news a little bit. Uh, but there's a lot sure. of talk about that pressure, about playing in a, in a Canadian market, and whether or not that pressure is real. If so, is that something that you embrace? Well, yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely real. Um, yeah. That's for sure. I think, uh, you know, it's something you embrace. I think, um, you know, for maybe for younger guys, it's it's a lot tougher to go through. I think for me, where I am in my career and, and what I've done and, and where I'm at, um, I, I think it'll be a little bit easier to manage. Uh, I think you're a little bit tougher. You're more mature, obviously. And, um, you know, you can let things roll off your back. And uh, so I, I think it's a little easier now. But... Uh, you want that pressure too. That they 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 want to win. The fans want to win. That the organization wants to win. And um, you know when you have that, it's, that's a good pressure. So um, you're gonna do everything you can to do that. How much different was it in Vegas? Yeah, Vegas was uh, was special. Um, I think great right from you know being coming out of the coming out of the finals against Pittsburgh when I was playing for Nashville, and then you know five days later you just poured your heart and your soul into a team, yeah. and then five days later you're you're going to an expansion team and you're left unprotected and uh, you don't really know what to do. So uh, you go with an open mind and positive outlook and uh, you, you come here to Vegas and you do everything you can to, to make this a winning team and prove everybody wrong. And, um, you know, I can't say enough about my teammates and the organization, the coaching staff. Uh, you know, what we did here was uh, was pretty amazing. Uh, there's not one person in the hockey world that thought this would, this would be possible. Um, definitely sucks coming up short again, and then uh, same thing happens again five days after, six days after you win, you're going to a different team. So it's been a lot of change um, the last few years. So I'm I'm happy that I got a five-year deal done, and that I'm going to be in a place for uh, you know a long time. 
Yes. When Tim and I talked about this deal, we both liked it. I love it because you can light the lamp. You wake up out of bed, get 20 goals. <laughs> but Tim mentioned the fact that you add something to that room, you make that team really tough to play against. And they the intangibles that you bring. How much of that is part of the conversations you had with Brad Chaliving when, when this came together? Yeah, uh, for sure. I think, uh, you know, they're obviously very compl complimentary. They, they they talked to me a lot and they wanted to get a contract done and they, they wanted me a part of their team. So uh, for me with, um, you know, what I've done in the, the past few years but what I've done over my career, I think, you know, like I said, I'm older now, I'm more mature. You're, you're ready for that Canadian media, but um, I'm just really close to I've been really close to winning, and when you get a taste of that, you just you want more of it. You, uh, there's nothing better than you know playing the Stanley Cup Finals and and coming that close to winning. So um, it's tough uh, when it, when you'd lose it, but um, I think with the, how this team's made up, I think uh, you know I fit in there just perfect, and that was a big reason why I chose her.